y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited because we are going to do a full face of Inglot. I recently took a trip to Poland and they had a standalone Inglot store. So I went in, I went in, I picked out lots of products. The sales associates there were so nice. They were so helpful. So I have in front of me primer, foundation, concealer, powder, eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, highlight, lips, everything. I have some of everything. I even bought, look, I even bought the Inglot sponge. We are gonna test everything out. I'm gonna give you my first impression. I'm gonna tell you what I think is good, what I think is not so good, what I recommend, maybe what I recommend to skip. I have never tried Inglot before though. I don't think I've ever tried a single thing from the brand. So I was like a kid in a candy store when I went in Inglot. Everything was so beautiful. I had such a fun time shopping, but I can't wait to test all these products out with you. And if you are near, new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just wanna have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing, new products we are here for it so if that sounds good to you i do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because i upload lots of new videos every single week and i'm very excited to be testing all of this stuff i'm so excited we're gonna try it on together so let's jump into it <music> So to get started, let me grab a headband, let me get my hair off my face, and we're gonna try some things out. Now I will say, when I went into Inglot, again, I was at an Inglot in Poland, there were foundation shades that were all for light skin. <laughs> None, I consider myself like medium to tan skin tone. There was no shades for me, but the sales associate was so nice and she pulled out some foundations that she had that were a little bit darker. I could not find my perfect shade, but I was like, no worries. I have my LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment because they had some foundations that were super light for me out on display. And then she pulled out some that, like I said, I think will work better for me, but I'll mix in some of my pigment. I love the LA Girl Pro Pigment. This video is not about LA Girl, but just know this has saved me with foundations so many times. But let's start out. I'll just kind of, we'll just kind of do the full face and I'll tell you what I picked out because I have some exciting stuff. But first up, I have the Inglot Moonlight Illuminating Face Primer. So this is like a glowy face primer. I'm very excited. It comes in a pump like this. So I'm gonna pump it onto my hands and it's like, okay, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit dark, but it's very glowy, which I think will be good. We'll put the foundation on top, but this is supposed to be an illuminating face primer. And I definitely think it made me more glowy, but I'm excited about the foundation. The foundation I bought is the HD Perfect Cover Up Foundation. So I'm gonna mix up my perfect shade with the LA Girl, and we're gonna blend it in with this sponge. This sponge is the Pro Blending Sponge. Okay, before I go mixing, let's see if I need to. And actually, I think that color is gonna work well for me. So maybe I didn't need the LA Girl. I thought for sure I was going to, but maybe not. Let's see how this covers. It says, what did I tell you it was called? The Foundation Perfect Cover HD. All right, this sponge is very hard. Like I will say, I'm used to a more bouncy sponge and this sponge is very, very firm. But I think the foundation is looking nice, actually. And it's not too matte. I told um, the really, really, really sweet girl who was working at Inglot that I like have oily skin, but that I like something that has a very skin-like coverage. And this is what she recommended to me. And I think that was a good recommendation because I think the coverage on this is looking really, really nice. 
and paired with the illuminating primer, I don't feel like it's giving me a flat matte look at all. This is really, really pretty. Okay. I'm surprised that the shade matched was so good. I thought for sure I was going to have to mix it up. Okay, so, so far, I think that foundation is looking really nice. Way better than I expected. I think it looks very skin-like, very beautiful. But I did buy concealer as well. This is the Inglot All Covered Concealer. So, we'll see. Under eye concealer, it says. So, let's try this out. It has a doe foot applicator. It feels nice doesn't feel heavy or thick definitely feels nice and thin under the eyes let's see let me put some here got a few little breakouts right there all right let me press this in see how it blends oh I think the color matches really nice okay so I'm gonna press this in and I think that's covering really, really well. It looks really nice under the eyes. I don't like this sponge though. This sponge is way too firm. Like it's, it's a little rough blending with it, but that looks great. I feel like it looks nice, hydrated. I would say maybe like medium coverage, not super full coverage, but I think that looks really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to set all of this with powder. I'm a little nervous because I'm kind of picky about what powders I like. Like, I need them to set everything down, make everything look nice, airbrushed. I don't like a powder that clings to things weird. Uh, so we'll see. This is the Inglot HD Illuminating Loose Powder. So let's see. <laughs> How this does, we'll set kind of my under eyes and tease on with this. Oh, I like that it comes with a little bit of a puff. And the sales associate was telling me that this will be like a little bit brightening um, to give like a little more of an awake look under the eye. So let me get my tweezers out, pull the sticker off this powder, and we'll see how it does. Okay, so I tapped this out in the cap, and it definitely looks like it might be a shimmery powder, which I was not expecting. Well, it does say illuminating, so maybe, maybe, let's see. Okay, I'm picking it up straight from the cap to the puff. And I'm just going to, oh, there's definitely shimmer particles in here. Instant regret, instant regret for piling this under my eyes. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There's shimmer in there for sure. Like there's just full on shimmer. <laughs> full on shimmer all under my eyes. Wow. That, that, this was going so well up until this point. But we're here. We might as well commit. I'm going to keep setting. Full on shimmer under the eyes. Not my fave. I know a lot of people do like that look for like brightening and stuff, but it's not uh, it's not a journey I've ever wanted to take. Yeah. Yeah, this is full on full on shimmer. No. <laughs> I specifically bought a shimmery highlight. I did not want oh. <laughs> I don't know what this I'm distraught. I am distraught. I'm going to, listen, we're here. We're committed. We're just going with it. Okay. But just know I, I'm, I'm, I'm distressed. I'm distressed right now. <laughs> and it has a slight pink tint to it. <gasps> why? 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 Okay. Full on disco ball, plus I spilled some in my lap. So wonderful. Now I like a finishing powder that has a little shimmer, like keep it to the perimeter of the face. So that's what I bought with this. This is the Perfect Finish Loose Powder. I thought this was going to be, you know, my glowy powder for the rest of my face, not for setting the under eyes. I mean, does it look terrible? Yes. <laughs> 
Yes, it does. It's not my fave. Totally not my fave, but we're here. We're going to keep going. I'm going to shake some of this out and apply it with a brush. Now listen, a finishing powder, I like a bit of shine, a bit of sheen, you know? I think that can be super beautiful. I'm gonna go in with this big fat Lunar Beauty brush, pick some up, and it, um, hmm. I don't know how to feel. I just don't know how to feel. I was thinking this was gonna be like my next high glass, you know, just, just like a glow, but no, I continue to pack shimmer on my face. I continue to just put the shimmer all over my face and it just gets worse like I look like I belong on the set of Twilight <laughs> I look like a glittery mess a mess a mess is the best way I can use to describe it I'm not gonna blame it all on this though because the, the powder for under the eye did contain a lot of shimmer and it's like a lot. It's like a lot of pink shimmer right here. But I'm going to calm down. I'm going to calm down. I did not buy brow products at Inglot. I did not buy brow products. I'm like, I'm just going to use what I have because that's not that exciting. But look at this quad I created. That's a pretty quad. That's a pretty quad. So we are going to play with the eyeshadows. But first, I'm going to fill in my brows. Hopefully I can get the mirror up close without the glitter blinding me. We shall see. <laughs> okay, so my brows are done. I used my Sigma eye primer in the shade Ignite. And we are going to play. We are going to play with these shadows. I just bought like an empty magnetic palette and then I put single shadows in. So I picked out two mattes. This is like a duochrome shade. And then this is a super shimmery sparkly shade. I also bought... Uh, what is this called? I don't know. I don't see a name in English. It says it's made in Poland, but it's like a loose pigment, basically. I don't know exactly what it's called, but, ooh, it looks so pretty. So we're going to play with that. This is the shade 138. And then I also bought this. This says it's body sparkles, but I thought maybe we could put these on with a glitter glue. We'll see. They're kind of chunky, flaky shades. But let's first do with the powders. So I'm going to go in first with this light green. Actually, let me grab my little magnetic tool. I will link this down below if you like magnetic shadows. Something like this really nice. Okay, so the light green is number 257. And then let me look at what shade the teal is. 256. That's this one. The darker of the shimmers that I picked out, this is, huh, 715, all right? So this one's 715, and then the lightest shimmer I have, let me see, this one doesn't want to come out, there we go, this one is 704, this lighter shimmer right here. All right, let's go in, let's apply these. Okay, so I'm going to make sure no creases in my eye primer, and I'm just going to put this lime green all here in my crease. That's nice and pigmented. I don't think I've ever tried, I, I'm trying to remember if I've ever tried anything from Inglot, and I don't think I have. So I'm excited to be testing this. I think that looks really pretty so far. Oh, I forgot to say, but I did take a tiny bit of my Nikia Joy powder. I just picked a little bit up on a brush and I tried to powder just under my eyes to kind of tone down some of the shimmer that was there. And I think it helped a little bit. I still don't think my under eye is looking amazing, but I'll definitely test like the foundation and the primer and the concealer and all of that mixed with other powders and other combos and I'll follow up in a few weeks with what I thought about it so definitely check that out because I realize like I'm testing everything new today and I want to mix these products with some of my old favorites but let me just grab a brush and we'll go in with this deeper kind of teal color 
I just want to put a little bit of that out here and look at how pigmented that is even on top of that lime green. Okay, for the two mattes that I've tried from Inglot, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, I want to go in with this deeper shade first. So I'm going to pick this up on this little Morphe brush. I'm going to spray my brush. I did not buy an Inglot makeup mist, so I'm just going to use this one from e.l.f. that I have. And that is really pretty. I don't know that this is like a super unique shade. It's kind of like a blue-brown with the green, but it looks really, really pretty. I'm leaving the inner part of my lid blank because then I want to go in with the lighter color there. This shade is very pigmented, very smooth. It's not emphasizing any texture. Oh, I think that looks really, really pretty. Okay, I'm kind of impressed with the Inglot shadows so far. Okay, now I'm going to go in with that lighter shade and I'm just going to put it right here on the inner part of the lid very sparkly wow really beautiful okay we're getting some wins today from inglot that is beautiful so that's these four shades and i actually want to go in with that pigment and put that on the lower lash line so i'm going to put the lid on my quad i really like that really really liking the way that performed got some shadow all over my hand but let's go in with the pigment again this is the shade 138 i don't know the exact name of this but it what <laughs> i'm so messy today it's it looks like a dark kind of black based blue pigment so let's try it okay so i picked the pigment up on this little pointed what's up beauty brush i sprayed it and we're just putting it on the lower lash line. And that is looking really beautiful. Very, very intense. But stunning. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful, this pigment. Oh, I'm so, so into it. I feel so sparkly. I feel it's so great. On the inner corner, I want to put those flakes. I don't know if these are recommended for the eye use, like, or use around the eyes. There's my little disclaimer. Don't come for me. Don't put these near your eyes if you don't want to. But I'm going to pick up a little bit of my NYX glitter glue, and I'm going to put these little flakies on the inner corner. Okay, so I'm picking up a little bit of NYX glitter glue. I'm putting that on the inner corner of both eyes rubbing it in going straight in to the little flakes and pressing them right there oh i love this eye look this was so easy to do but i'm loving this look okay i'm gonna put on some eyeliner mascara and i bought some false lashes these are the faux lashes in I don't know the style. Oh, 95N. So I'm going to test these out and then I'll be back. We still have cheeks and lips to do. Okay, so update. <laughs> I just put on Rare Beauty Mascara. I went to put on the lashes and listen, I use lashes a lot. I'm very gentle. I know how to pull lashes off. But as I was trying to get these off, they just started tearing. Like, do you see this? So we're skipping lashes because um, they just kind of fell apart on me. <laughs> they just kind of fell apart on me. So what are you going to do? We're going to roll on. The mascara looks good, though. Actually, let me curl my lashes. And I really like this eye look, y'all. I really like it. All the shadows, the pigments, the little flaky things, all of that I think looked really good like I'm looking at my eye look like yes I'm excited to wear this the rest of the day it's kind of early for me I'm filming this it's 9 30 right now I mean not super early but you know I'm excited to wear this makeup all day but let's do I forgot to mention and I forgot to use this is the Inglot face and body bronzer so it's like a body shimmer but I forgot to put it on today but I'll definitely keep y'all updated in future videos what I think of that but let's go in. I made a bronzer 
Blush Duo. Let me tell you the names. Let me find my little magnetic tool again, and I'll tell you the names of the blush and the bronzer. Okay, so the bronzer is uh, Inglot Sculpting Powder. Oh, I don't know the shade. I can't see the shade on the bronzer, but the blush is 3-2, shade 3-2. So it's kind of a glowy blush. I'm excited about that. Let me get these in here and let me find us a brush because it needs to be small-ish so that I don't mix the two together. Okay, I've got this MAC brush. Uh, we're gonna put the bronzer on. And it's not quite as easy to blend. It's kind of staying where I put it. There we go. I'm just having to put in a little more work blending than normally, but man, this color looks good, doesn't it? Oh, I think that color looks really nice. Let me get a little bit up here in my forehead. Okay, I think this color is looking really nice. Let me bronze up the nose a little bit. Maybe a little too much there. Where's my sponge? The bronzer looks good though. I'm looking like side to side. I think it's looking really nice. I would definitely say this bronzer is very pigmented and it's not super easy to blend. I mean, I'm doing it, but it's taking a little more work. If you're somebody who likes more sheer bronzers that are kind of effortless, this is not for you, but I do think it's looking really pretty. Okay, so far, so good. I think, listen, I think I'm looking great. Still not crazy about the way my under eyes are looking, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna grab this Flower Beauty brush and I'm gonna go straight into the blush. Okay, this blush definitely has uh, a little bit of shimmer to it. So it's going to be a more glowy blush. That's pretty. Okay, I think the blush is looking super duper pretty. But you know what I'm very excited about? I'm most, ex whoops, most excited. Here, let me put the little top on for this highlighter. This is the Inglot Sparkling Dust Face Eyes Body Illuminator. And I have the shade, I can't tell what shade this is. Maybe this is shade seven. There's a zero seven printed on here. And this is a loose highlighter. I like that they put these puffs and everything uh, cause I'll definitely be using those. But let me pull this out and we'll see how it looks on the face. All right, for this highlight, I'm taking my Lunar Beauty brush. I'm gonna make sure my brush is nice and coated. Oh, that is sparkles. Like that is bright, icy sparkles. <laughs> oh, but that's pretty. It was just very sparkly. You see that? Wow, that is sparkly. I have to tone this down just a bit. Listen, I love intensity, but that is like very intense, very intense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C. This is one of my favorite setting mist. So I'm going to spray my face and then I'm going to take just a little bit of my sponge and try to press this in because it's just, it's, it's a bit much right now. Okay, so the setting spray is on and I'm just kind of pressing this into the skin. Okay, let's play with these lip products. I bought the Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner in the shade 63, and then I bought the Sleek's Lip Gloss in the shade 62. So, let's put this on. Let's see how it looks. Okay, the pencil really reminds me of MAC or NYX. Okay, and this gloss is a sparkly gloss. This one looks so pretty. I will say when I was in store, a lot of their lip products were sold out. So it was like every time I picked something out, it was out of stock. <laughs> but I think these two are going to be really pretty together. I will say this doe foot doesn't pick up enough product, I don't think. Like I have to keep dipping back in, but it's very pretty and it smells like strawberries. 
All right, y'all, this is the finished look using all Inglot products. I'm excited to test some of these things some more. I can say the uh, under eye, the HD illuminating powder, not for me, at least not for the under eyes. That's a no for me. <laughs> <laughs> the lashes they tore so easily and I'm gentle like listen I'm not a newbie to lashes so I know how to take lashes off but those ripped apart so I would say a no on the lashes all the products I put on my eyes I think are such a win the lip products beautiful the foundation really really beautiful so I'm excited to play with these some more test them some more but I hope you enjoyed this full face of Inglot I would love to know have you tried the brand do you want to try the brand if you have tried it what are your favorites what are your products that you think I should avoid definitely let me know I will link everything that I talked about down below in the description box thank you so much for watching I hope you're having a super awesome amazing day and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!